we met with um, Amanda and kicked around a lot of ideas and then went separately to apply them. And my problem is now that I have so many ideas that seem I never have time to actually do the content I used to teach. How am I going to make this work? But in addition to embedding our kids into the class, one of the things that I really want to do is, it used to be, this is the intro to literary analysis. So they're learning a lot of literary theory, and that's the first part of the course. And then they begin apply. I mean, they're applying it as they're learning it, but then we take it on these, from these small exercises, and we pick it up, and we begin applying what they've learned to larger works. Um, and it was at that point that I began the information literacy aspect of the course. And in thinking about it as a result of this, I thought that I really want to flip that so that information literacy becomes part of what they're learning early. Um, and one of the things that I think will be extremely valuable is for them to compare uh, contempt reviews of work contemporary with the moment in which it was written versus the way that people talk about it now. So that allows me to use the Gale resources, all of the, um, the virtual, you know, virtual library online and things like that, so that they can be reading. I have a whole list here, for instance, I, mean, I use Emma Lazarus's poem as their short exercise. And yeah, um, so there are, there are reviews um, of her, and then when we get to Sherlock Holmes, there's a wealth of reviews on Sherlock Holmes and Arthur Conan Doyle, so that they can be looking at reviews from 1892 um, all the way up. And then we can begin to talk about what are the differences that you notice in terms of the way that people <coughs> approach, the way they think about the value of literature, the way they analyze it, things like that. So that's one of the assignments that I've decided to one of the things we talked about with John's class, which is 193 T, uh, literature. Uh, we, we threw around a lot of ideas, not really getting settled on put on, but we talked about maybe using uh, a wiki, an online wiki, to do a group and study the bibliography. Because a lot of the, the class talked about the idea of, well, sexuality and sexual identity in literature and the terminology that's used, uh, gay and lesbian and that kind of thing, to, to um, describe, uh, describe the things that you see in literature. Um, so maybe creating an annotated bibliography where the whole group participates and, and creates citations maybe uh, from the Oxford English Dictionary of looking at terms as they evolve over time um, or other things they find in class would be, would be useful. And they can all see what, what everybody else is doing there a, a really group uh, resource for the whole class. Mm -hmm. That sounds very interesting. I'd love to uh, use that idea. Too. I've never um, been part of a group annotated bibliography on a wiki, so I'll be to learn about that. There's a couple of different wikis. Uh, PB Wiki, P, I like the better, this is one that's, that's commonly used. There's another one today. Do you encourage your students to use wiki? You know, I, I'm a librarian, so I, I don't know what, what John will decide to do, but um, I, I haven't, I, I've used it in classes that I've taken before in the mm -hmm. past, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know, it might be something uh, people have different opinions about students doing academic work based on wiki. Well, I think it's using like Wikipedia. I mean, which is yeah. Wikipedia. I can put anything on Wikipedia. Somebody might think it was a fact, but I think having them be involved in the wiki. It would be the creation of a yeah. wiki, so you could create this this yeah. online document. There's actually a button I saw on Blackboard yeah. for wikis. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Wikis, blogs. Blackboard has a wealth of, the, of tools that we can make available to the new graduates. Yeah. Any other comments on the We're kind of in the 